What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So last video I started off trying a new enlightened flavor. So I figured I would do that again since I have so many of them and I figure you probably want to see. So this one is enlightened chocolate fudge brownie. This one actually has the most calories out of all of them I believe. The whole pint, it's 76 carbs, 28 protein and 14 fat. So this is a low calorie ice cream but it's not really that low calorie when you compare it to even Halo Top or Arctic Zero. Definitely low calorie compared to Ben & Jerry's. But anyway, Fudge Brownie is probably one of my favorite flavors of anything. And the last two flavors of Halo Top Birthday Cake and Hot Cocoa are amazing. So we're going to try this and see if it's just as good. And it is. You know, Whiten is definitely the creamiest low calorie ice cream that I've had. So, if you haven't tried it, I do recommend it. So, I just thought I'd give you a quick little update now, and I will see you in the next clip. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the workout. So here I am going to be taking you through my latest squat workout on 531. This is the 531 week, meaning I work up to an AMRAP set of one plus. This week happened to be 370 pounds and 370 pounds is very heavy for me on squats. So I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, after the squats, I'll take you through the rest of the workout. The accessories this week, I am going for 10 to 12 reps. So that's what you'll see on the leg press, calves, and the Romanian deadlifts that I do. Um, here's numbers, uh, set number two, 330 pounds before I do get into the AMRAP set. And what I was saying, 370 pounds is heavy for me. And I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I'm kind of scared when I have to lift heavy. And I don't exactly know why I'm scared because I've been working out for uh, over 10 years and it's never changed. Whenever I know I have to squat heavy, deadlift heavy, bench heavy, it scares me. And stuff like squats actually scares me thinking about it even like the day before the workout. Like before I even do the workout, 24 hours in advance, knowing that I have to do 370 pounds, I'm kind of scared thinking about it. I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to get a good night's sleep. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm worried that... I don't know what I'm worried about, if it's that I'm going to get injured, or maybe that I'm just not going to have the strength I'm hoping and I won't get the lift, but whatever it is, I've been, I'm have been i typically scared when I lift heavy, and I'm kind of curious if you guys are the same way, and like I said, it doesn't really make that much sense that I should be scared, because I know I can do the weight, and I probably won't get hurt, because I've never gotten hurt before in over 10 years, so the fact that I am scared doesn't really make that much sense to me, but regardless, I am scared, and... I think that's kind of maybe a good thing because it gives you an extra focus knowing that you have 370 pounds in your back and one wrong move I guess and it could put you in the grave but I don't think I'm scared of getting hurt to be honest I think I'm actually scared that I'm not going to get the weight or that the weight's not going to feel as smooth as I'm hoping it will and that I lost strength to be honest so I think that's the real reason I'm scared but whatever it is squats do scare me deadlifts scare me Squats and deadlifts actually scare me for a day or two before the workout, whereas bench, I typically only get scared like right before my heavy set. So yeah, like I said, I'm just a little curious to know what you guys think. And people ask like a lot of times, do you have to lift heavy? Because other people, I know other people are scared to lift heavy, but they're kind of scared to lift heavy for, I guess, other reasons than I am. Like I'm experienced, I know I could do the weight, so I shouldn't be scared for the reasons that a new, like a beginner is scared. Beginners are typically scared to lift heavy because they think that they'll get hurt, and that's very legitimate. If you're a beginner, your form might not be the best. You very well could get hurt. So people ask me, is it necessary to lift heavy? And I guess, well, heavy is relative, so to 370 pounds to me on squats is heavy, but there's plenty of people that warm up with 370 and that's not heavy. So you can't look at the actual number when you determine if it's heavy. You have to look at it in, in terms of your relative strength if it's heavy. And is it necessary to, to lift heavy in order to grow? I mean, I'm going to say no, it's not necessary to lift heavy, but it is necessary to be making progress over time. So you don't have to necessarily lift in like the three to five rep range. Um, because the three to five rep range is typically, I guess, the scariest since it's such a high intensity and so close to your one rep max that it's a bit scary. So you don't necessarily have to lift heavy in order 
to get bigger, to get stronger, but you do need to be making progress. So if you don't want to lift three to five reps and you want to lift six to eight, eight to 10, as long as you're improving the weight that you could do on those specific rep ranges, you'll still make progress over time. You don't necessarily need to lift in the very low rep ranges because I honestly never get scared before a set of eight. Um, but at the same time, I hate doing sets of eight on squats because it turns into more of a cardio event than anything else. So no, you don't have to necessarily lift heavy. Lifting heavy is relative though, so you gotta keep that in mind. The most important thing is really make sure that you are making progress in whatever rep range over time. I think it is ideal to lift heavy though, just because you don't have to doesn't mean I don't think it's optimal. I think it's best to do every rep range, including the low rep ranges and the high rep ranges. But if you're scared, you really or don't want to do it, you have previous injury history, you can still make progress, you can get stronger without lifting very, very heavy. So, I don't know, that's what I want to talk about today because this, pre, this squat workout, I was actually thinking about lifting 370 for like three days and it was really on my mind and I was kind of nervous. So I was happy that it went pretty smoothly. Uh, the video, while well, the workout's coming to an end, stick around for the rest. We are going to go out for pizza and I try another uh, another enlightened flavor like I did in the beginning, but a different one. So hit that thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far and enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching so far. So it is now Saturday night and we are at a place that we have not been to in a while. We've been on a burrito kick recently, but we are back to Blaze Pizza. It's probably our favorite place, but we just need a little bit of a break. So we're back today and I'll show you what we get in just a second. <laughs> Mine. Yeah. Alright guys, so we went here to build your own pizza. There is white sauce in the bottom, barbecue sauce on top. There's chicken, onion, banana pepper, spinach, and arugula. Did I get everything? I think I got everything. The whole thing, with it, the macros are 99 carbs. 38 protein and 26 fat. So those are excellent macros for a whole personal pizza. That's why we love this place. Um, every time we come, it's consistently amazing. We never have a bad pizza. We do it like 50 times. It's good every time. So we love Blaze. Paula got something similar, but she got a little less green. Maybe she added olives and mushrooms, but the rest of it's basically the same. So we're going to enjoy this now, and we'll see you back at the house. Where I'm, I'm going to try a new enlightened flavor, and I'll let you guys know what I think. All right, guys, so this is the chocolate chip cookie dough enlightened. Haven't tried this one yet. Every other flavor I tried so far has been amazing, and I have a very good feeling about this one. Uh, as far as the macros, this whole thing, it's 72 carbs, 28 protein, and 12 fat. It never zooms in unless you go a little further. So, and by the way, it's also 20 fiber, so that's a lot of fiber mm -hmm. for ice cream. So we are going to try it. Ooh, so creamy. I see cookie dough. This one's amazing. Yeah, so it's very creamy. There's cookie dough, there's chocolate chips. And as much as I liked Halo Top, Enlightened has to win overall. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys liked the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. By the way, we asked for two spoons, but 16 handles only gave us one. Uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.